Hi, this is Donna. And this is TJ. We're the Hills. And this is... Dinner. And a Marriage. Here's to another Sunday. Happy Sunday for us again. I guess we do this on Sundays now. <laughs> yeah. And I, we were talking about it in a mall. Now it should be drinks and a marriage. <laughs> yeah. Or breakfast. Breakfast in a marriage. Breakfast in a marriage. Yeah. I don't know. We'll get back to dinner and a marriage, I feel like. As far as podcasting, possibly. You feel like that? I hope so. Mm, you and currently I feel differently. We're, you know, I was like, I wish we could, like, a cool name of a podcast is like, and then we drink, but that's already taken. Oh, I guess <laughs> plug to those people. Right? <laughs> Boop. But seriously, like. <laughs> you can call or, it. Or this is why we drink. Because we drink. <laughs> because we drink. <laughs> Things we thought of when drinking. <laughs> Reasons to drink. <laughs> we will give you some. <laughs> oh my I gosh. Mean, we, we probably could. We could. Good and bad. Huh. So we, I was talking about this with Christian yesterday because he was like, oh, so clearly he's 19 and shouldn't be drinking, but he's done a lot of things. But he was saying, oh, I used to drink to be happy. Like, oh, I'm so angry. I need to drink. And I'm like, mm, I think that might change when you get older. Because if you start drinking when you're in a bad mood, it just amplifies that, I feel like. Yes. And then if you are like, oh, it's a fun sunny day and we're going to have some cocktails and we're on vacay mode, whatever, then it's like... A fun thing. Like buckets of beers at the Bellagio pool. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. Gosh, I still that find good. that to be incredibly fun. Yeah. Yeah. That's jumping forward in a time frame, but you can talk about that. No, we were talking about reasons to drink. Yeah. Like How laying by the pool. Going? It's hey, wait, like, you are. You sorry. Got, no. It was wrapped around my foot, so oh, I was confused. Wow. I had a You're thinking on about foot. snakes on the plane again? <gasps> snakes on the plane! <laughs> what do I do with these words? Snakes on a but plane! But no, I was just saying. I said, but no. Damn it. But no. Um, <laughs> He's trying to say, not, stop saying, but no. And yeah. And no, no, no. <laughs> she doesn't want me to tell her no anymore. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I have told oh her gosh. that throughout our marriage, I've never told you no. Huh. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> now we have video proof. <laughs> no, oh, he just, instead is? of saying, oh, wait, that's not right, or I disagree with you, he kind of goes, no. You no. gotta just shut it down. Yeah, he just shuts it down. Yeah. Wow. Gunner's on a mission right there. So, um, so, um, what's my bad habit? Trying to tell me what to do. Oh, man. <laughs> trying. Oh, see, you admit <laughs> to it. Fully admit to trying to be the boss. Hmm. Now, I think that that's why, um, our marriage has worked for so long, though. What's that? That... Knowing when to let each other be the boss. Oh, that's a good way of putting it. Sometimes because it's frustrating because, like, for me, as a traditional, the whole traditional roles of husband and wife, like, I want to be able to be like, dad's the final say, da 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 da, right? But. Sometimes I'm like, really? That's that's what's happening right now? <laughs> but all in all, he is the final say, and I think that has worked in our marriage. But sometimes I'm like, well, we need I to mean, talk about it. We're, you're saying it like that, but we're pretty 
fluid when it comes to being able to have a rational discussion. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, if we disagree with the other person's opinion, we'll talk about it. We definitely don't just go, whatever, you know? There's only a few things that Tanner, do you need more space? it's ever just been like, there you go. I said, this is it, and basically it'll never be talked about again. But it's been very few things. I don't really know. I don't even have any I examples of I can't think of, of anything that either. That probably never really happened. It's just me trying to sound cool. Yeah. No, I did. I drug you out in the middle of nowhere and was like, you're going to live here. I'm a camper. <laughs> yeah. But the funny thing about that is we, I think I did put my foot down on once or twice when we were looking at um, properties and talking about different states. I, I was open to a lot of places but I think a couple I'm like no that is just not going to happen so do you want to know I think you did the same thing though what as far as like we're definitely not living in these specific areas areas of the state that we decided to move to or just in general just in, in the general and just in general because oh yeah no I mean there was uh definitely some areas like I would never decide on my own right while I'm still breathing well especially I don't think to, originally you thought Arizona at all no because I didn't uh, ever put a whole bunch of thought into the fact that Arizona had mountains in an area with seasons like oh duh there's the hot dry area but then you know Arizona does get really close up to Utah and Colorado yeah. So, like, oh, well, the terrain changes. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I, I think do he was know really my geography and stuff, happy, like, happily surprised. How do you say that? Pleasantly surprised. Oh, thank you. Happily surprised. That's a Donnaism. Mm -hmm. So, when he drove up here the first time from Phoenix and that, you know, everything changes and you get pine trees and... That's a ridiculously sick drive. It is it a is. really it's good drive. Amazing. If you haven't done it, do it. And do Route 66, because that's pretty cool. Yep. It is. Mm -hmm. But it was, uh, I know that I was never, I would never move to Kansas or Oklahoma. Yeah, I don't think I've ever been to either of those states, so. I drove through Kansas a long time ago with my parents when we were moving, when they were in the Navy. Yeah. And... My mom will probably listen to this podcast and then she can correct me or not. Right. I feel like I should do that scenario where you, on the, the show where you win the money, where you get to dial a friend. Oh what my gosh. Uh, di uh, <laughs> you could have a lifeline. Lifeline, yeah. <laughs> and a million dollars something. Who wants to be a millionaire? Who? Yeah, that was it. Um, no. We were in Kansas, and we were in our brown van, and I don't remember if we were driving from California to, to Tennessee. I think that's what we were doing. But we stopped somewhere to tent camp one night mm -hmm. instead of staying in, in a Kansas. Hotel in Kansas. You're not in but Kansas anymore. We also, while driving, there were tumbleweed that went across the road that were like the size of cars. <laughs> Buses. It's like... Oh my gosh. the size of buses in Kansas. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. We got this far into it, and guess what I forgot? <gasps> wow. <laughs> we'll do yeah, it. I don't know. Maybe it's just not a thing anymore. Nope, we're going to do it. Shop talk, shop talk. Let's do a little shop talk. Oh. <laughs> Your voice I think cracked. I lost it. Oh, <laughs> man. Anyways, like, follow, subscribe, and share, and hit that notification bell so you get notified when our videos post. Also, just a little reminder, we do also have the Hills on Wheels on YouTube, which is our journey here um, on the property and what we're building. I try to do updates on there twice a week. Um, not always, but that is... What I try to do, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and same with podcasts. We try to drop our podcasts every Wednesday. It does drop anywhere that you listen to podcasts um, through Podbean every Wednesday. YouTube takes a little bit longer because of video. So if you're listening to this on the podcast, 
pop on over to our YouTube so you can get the full experience because we do make a lot of funny faces and do a lot of dumb things. And back to you, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> How's the weather in your area? Oh, goodness. Okay, so before we started today, um, you were like, oh, where are we leaving the timeline last time? Which we actually didn't go back and watch our own video, even like the last like one and a half minutes to make sure that we knew what we were doing. <laughs> right? So we're, we're like, like, we're winging it. Yeah, we're... We, we don't, I don't know that we prepare well. We ah, not. whatever. So. I, there's like a pea size idea of what's going to occur when, like, oh, because the whole premise of doing this podcast for us initially was. Something fun to do together. That. And let's show other people how you can still get along and marriages are worth it and even when you've been married for a hundred years right and you be down through all the ups and downs and just just did 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 that that no wow. you get to go through all the all the wins and the defeats together yeah for sure and i mean we had times we had some really dark times, but we've also had some really fun stuff. Oh, yeah. 100%. That's what I mean. Yeah. Is you were, we were talking about, like, oh, where did we leave off last week and whatever. And, it, I mean, yeah, there was, you said, oh, you know, it was the whole area of, like, when you were in AFN and when whatever. When we were rock stars. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, we still, speaking of reasons to drink, we, uh. <laughs> right. No, we had lots of uh, fun times and people that we hung out with and mm -hmm. party stuff and even party stuff with my parents. and Yeah, and winding it back a little. So we talked about how we used to always hang out at Tito's Krusty Dong and we loved that bar so much and they moved to Texas when we lived in Monroe. So when we moved into our new house in Lake Stevens, I could hear all of that. That's him stirring his drink. That was funny. Wow. Well, you got to call me out. People oh, man. See it. <laughs> I know. Well, not if you're on the podcast. That's true. Well, so, or just listening on podcasts. So anyways, one of the time. things when we did uh, look at our houses in Lake Stevens that stood out to us that we were pretty excited about is the house we were in had a bunch of outbuildings, like that were purposed for different reasons than we thought to purpose them for. But um, so if you do, and I'll drop it in here, catch the episode of Unsolvable Houses on HDTV, where they did use our house as a comp house. And I think it was season three, episode eight. I could have that wrong, but I'll put it up in here. Yeah, it doesn't do it justice. It doesn't because... They really only show the kitchen and like our master bedroom, bathroom area. They don't show anything else. Um, and that house, we did so much work to it. But anyways, these outbuildings, right? So we said we could make this outbuilding into a bar, kind of like Tito's Krusty Dong, right? And have our friends over. And At first, was that really the goal of that building? I because when we moved in... No, remember, we had initially thought we would use it because it was a hot tub. There was yeah, a hot was a tub hot in that tub room. room. And, and we thought we would get that hot tub fixed because we checked into it. Had someone come out and look at it. Well, yeah, but then we filled it with water one day. And the next day, the water was gone and we didn't know yeah. where it went. So we were like, okay, this seems a little weird. Yeah. <laughs> but it was like a bow chicka wow wow room. Like, oh, bow chicka wow wow. Like... I don't even know if we have before photos, but there was... Oh, we were so bad about that. I know. There was a hot tub, the old ceramic kind of hot tubs. No, it was a fiberglass. Oh, that's what I mean. Fiberglass. But then on the one wall, it was a mural of like a waterfall and stuff. It was a river. It was mountains and a river. And the river like looked like, like it poured stream. into the, <laughs> the hot tub. Like Which... It, that's the ending was the hot yeah. tub. Yeah. But done really like... 
Bob Ross would have come unglued. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then it had a sliding glass door and then windows, but then it had this yellow, like, bottle, bottle bottom, that kind of yellow window. Oh, the, the fisheye looking Yeah, the fisheye in there. And they so, had stained glass that was, uh, yeah, that was like this weird yellow gold. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about that. Then I broke all those out, mm -hmm. and we left the one other pane that was on the outside. Yeah, yeah. That helped that room so much. Oh, it was but, really kind of dark and scary. Yeah. And it was, it must have been like their hot tub drinking smoking room because the, all the walls were yellow, kind of yeah. had a yellow tint. Oh, no, we had to do a bunch to that thing to turn it yeah. into something cool. But we absolutely did. And it was super fun. Yeah. And so we made a cool bar in there and we had lots of parties and people over and great times tj put a zip line in at that house <laughs> and i still remember to this day it was absolutely hilarious mm -hmm. i believe it was on a sunday afternoon my parents were over my oh. dad was sitting on the porch of the bar <laughs> <laughs> he's like this has to be the dumbest idea you've ever had <laughs> the zip line <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. and <laughs> we were like Wee! I think it was just the kids doing it at that time. Oh, yeah. No, it was fantastic. That thing ended up being epic. But the yard was so cool because we had, like, little sections everywhere. Because you'd come out the back patio, and there was a patio, or the back door of the house, and there was a patio section where we had patio furniture and a barbecue. And it was, like, the lower level. And then there was grass where TJ built a garden over there, a raised garden beds. And then there were stairs on each side of what was the bar room. And then you'd walk around and there was this big tree that came through the porch of the bar. Yep. And so we decided to name it the Naughty Hill Bar. K-N-O-T-T-Y. Yeah. So, Not the way I would have named it, but yes, just <laughs> like that. Yeah. So <laughs> we had the Naughty Hill Bar. No, I have photos you can post some photos yeah, i do it's, have photos of the after and i will post that yeah but they're the it's before we painted everything white it's still when it was that the sage green color, green color. Yeah, that was not really my favorite but yeah whatever. we we i say we but <laughs> i mean this is okay this I is a we compromise could, we could debate this right oh, now okay. or at least ask the question <laughs> okay so with because i've heard it put a couple of different ways and I know that after a while that house grew on you but mm -hmm. did I pick that house out or did we collectively together decide that we would buy that house you did oh okay whatever might have been true <laughs> I he saw a vision I bought that house because of that backyard yeah and he totally <laughs> had a vision for that yard because when we first moved into that and I do think I have some photos of what the yard looked like before there was overgrown trees there was an apple tree that was just leaving it all mushy back there which is one of the reasons why the back shed we called the mushy mushy house because you had to walk through the mushy mushy to get to it. <laughs> yeah and then <laughs> in the far corner next to the barista stand and the music room it was like a huge pile of compost and I don't even know what and was over actual there. Full blown grown bushes. Yeah. That he cut all back one day when I was at work and um built a fire pit. Yeah, and we made a fire pit <laughs> over there. And that was our Hawaii area. It was awesome. It had sand and we had this whole Hawaii backdrop and tiki torches. Yeah. yeah, and the the hammock. And the hammock. Good times right there. So yeah, it, was it was like the perfect party yard. Oh, it was. Yeah. It was like my favorite yard. Yeah. And the Mushy Mushy house, we turned into like a little bunk room. Yep. And that was Chloe's room for a long time. It was a guest room. And Karen yeah, have, was there, I think. Karen was there. Ashley's Chris parents. And Stacey Chris stay and Stacy stayed there a lot. Over. Yeah. It was perfect. The Mushy Mushy house. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to show photos of that. That, And really, 
we sold the house at a really good time. We finally got to the point with the house that we'd done pretty much everything we wanted to. Almost, I would say. Because we did the, the rubberized stuff outside. We painted the house. We uh, put new carpet in. Out, put in a stamp driveway. Yeah. And mind you, just like on the hills on wheels, <laughs> um, I am very non-contractor friendly. Yeah. And I like to do everything myself. So mm -hmm. everything at that house, like pretty much every, I think 90, everything except for the roof and 98 the painting. percent of it. We had a leak in our roof at one point. I did have a roofer come over and fix that. Yeah. And then, um, because I was also so busy at work one time, we did um, hire a painting company to paint the house and the buildings. Yes. But other than that, I did everything else. Yes. And it was quite an undertaking. And yes, it was kind of sad that... I think when TJ meet, says I, he means us. He just says I. Uh. <laughs> okay, you're right, us. I, at one point, did leave her with plywood countertops for five months. Oh, wow. Well, that's because we were putting in concrete, and we had to wait for the weather to be right for the concrete to set. Oh, it was also because I was busy with work, and then mm -hmm. I was... Because he was working da, 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 a full-time job like and remodeling the house. Like, a week, not, like, 40 or less. It was, like, yeah. lots and lots of Saturdays and everything, mm -hmm. and... He took a vacation once just to work on the house. The first year that we were in the house, I was as actual vacation time. Man, I got so much stuff done. I cut down like four trees. My dad came over and helped me chip it all. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. We had a huge pile of bark chip out front. It was so mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah. And he took mega pride in his yard. He always had the greenest grass on the neighborhood. I had, you know, I'm very leery of planting grass here because oh, you get kind of obsessed oh, over it, it i become a crack addict <laughs> when it comes to grass he does kind of i i'm for some, I <laughs> remember love, when I maddie nice lived with grass. us oh. <laughs> so when chloe was uh, older uh, i mean how old was she 19 yeah i guess she Lived in the Mushy Mushy house, but she had her dog, Maddie, with her. And Maddie was a cool girl. Cool dog. Love the dog. Yes. Love the daughter. Love the dog. <laughs> no love loss. But Maddie would, like dogs do, pee in the yard, and it would always leave that yellow kill the grass, right? And, oh, uh, he used to get so upset about that. Be like, why? Can't she just uh, pour water over it? We? <laughs> I'm so... <laughs> neurotic about this yeah do you remember i went you found that weird grass paint yeah the for green me, grass and it, paint. when that would happen it would turn brown i would spray this stuff on it and it would dye the dead grass back to the right color yeah i love the i that stuff's awesome the psh, green oh, yeah it's perfect for if you have like parties weddings whatever and you have little dead spots in your yard you just make it all pretty Pretty, no, the pretty. stuff it's is what cool, golf but courses use. Oh, it, still, it's not the same. It's just having immaculate grass. But yes, I have a feeling <laughs> that your area that you want grass, then I'm gonna totally nerd out on that whole spot. And yeah, so I mean, you'd have to watch um, Hills on Wheels videos. I, maybe I could put one up, but one of the pictures up. But where we want the house and where like the connex sits. I would love to have grass all there, which is like the septic drain field, because you can't really put anything else on that area. You can't plant trees, you can't put a garden. So yeah. it would be a perfect spot to, and it's a nice low, flat area. Flat -ish. It's a slope, it's a, it's a mellow slope. Yeah, to have that be our backyard and yeah. all green grass. All green grass. Yeah. It would be cool. You could. Because I see that a lot out here is the flooding, doing like a little raised flood zone right there for grass. Hmm. Like that uh, house over by the post office. Yeah, but they have a really flat spot. 
you'd like just flood out the whole area down by the Connex. That would not be cool. Well, I kind of meant make a little ridge, but... Oh, I gotcha. Yeah, I could try something like that. We'll figure it out. Yeah. It's all going to be beautiful, I have no doubt. No doubt. No, but I was trying to bring up the, the stuff with the house, because yes, we had some fun times there. Mm -hmm. Some big parties. You remember the time that BJ came over? Our Chris next Black door neighbor. Was over. Yeah. That's helpful. They were over pretty yeah. often. Yes, but. <laughs> uh, what was it? It was the mega huge bottle, the Kirkland brand. Oh of some my whiskey. gosh, I do remember BJ this. BJ brought this bottle over, and it was, it was like, like the half full. Select Reserve or whatever the Kirkland <laughs> brand is, Private Select. <laughs> we of whiskey, right? Yes, of whiskey, and it's and literally like yeah, it's huge. But it was like it was like half full. I don't know, it was but ginormous. He came over, and then him and Chris and I were hanging out. We had a fire going. Yeah, and they were doing shots. We were doing shots, and some point straight out the some bottle. Point. <laughs> And there's an epic photo of me and Mr. Chris Black it? somewhere oh, where he has his fist it. like this. Do you remember that oh, photo? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And in the, his, it's like, really, the shot turned out cool. Like, his hand looks really big because it's, like, right by the camera. And he's got his arm around me, and we're both just like, ha! Ah! Don't you have the whiskey bottle? I think so. Okay. But we both ended up falling asleep in the chairs. By the fire pit. By the fire pit. And I woke up at like, I don't know, 3 o'clock in the morning, and it's raining, and I was soaking wet and freezing. <laughs> and I'm like, what in the world? And I went inside, and I hopped in the shower, just because I was trying to get warm, and, and then I got in bed. And then the next morning, Chris came in, and his hair's all wet. Okay, but back up a skosh. So that was a work night. Work night. Yeah. No, it wasn't. For me. Oh. Because I worked on the weekend. Yes, so it was work night for you. We were out there. It was those three fools and myself. And I was sitting by the fire, and I think at seven or eight. I don't even know. It wasn't, like, super late. I was like, you guys, yeah, peace no, out of here. Because like, I didn't have, I, I wasn't drinking. So I went to bed. But I got up in the morning to get ready for work and tripped over this sopping wet pile of clothing. And I was like, ew. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> what happened? But here? he's like snoring, whatever. So I just got ready for work and left. But then you go. <laughs> yeah. Well, so you get up. Yeah. And then Chris came in and his hair is all wet. I'm like, what in the world? He's like, oh, man, I fell asleep in the chair last night. I woke up, it was raining, and I was all wet. I thought you led him into the room. No. Oh. And he goes, <laughs> and I'm like, and you just left me there? And he's like, ah, yep. <laughs> oh, it was him that left you. Yeah, he, I did. <laughs> he's like, I woke up, I was wet and cold. I went into the little room to go to sleep. Like, oh my gosh. Well, then he realized somehow well, he lost his phone and his wallet in the sand. Oh my gosh. Stacy was so mad at him. <laughs> I bet. She wanted to kill him. <laughs> he finally went out there and found everything, but his phone didn't work. Didn't he put it in rice or something? Everybody Back when you could do that. Can you even still do that? I don't even know. I have no idea. Remember, speaking of Chris and Stacy. One time, uh, I mean, we did everything with them, but one time we were at uh, a little place called Razzles. It's like a bar and grill, right? It's a sports bar. Yeah. And, and they would and meet us there periodically. Yeah. And so we're sitting there and we're talking about, I don't know if we were already talking about Stacy's birthday that we were planning on or if it just came up or whatnot, but we were talking about trips i think and stacy was saying oh my gosh i love vegas we should yeah. we should all go to vegas yeah we were talking about something about vegas Mm-hmm. you keep doing that and you it's right in the microphone 
Um, yeah, so we were talking about, oh, Vegas, I love Vegas. And she's like, oh, she looks up in the air, kind of <laughs> in the distance and says, oh, my God, I had so much sex in Vegas. <laughs> and we all just pause. And TJ looks at Chris and says. I didn't say anything. Yeah, you did. Oh, no, you didn't. No, I didn't Chris say anything. That was the opposite. Yeah. Chris looked at TJ and says, I've never been to Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're like, huh, well. So what are you guys ordering? <laughs> right. But on that note, I think we're going to stop this one and get back to you guys next week. But we're going to just keep going. We're just doing an intro outro, so... I don't have to piecemeal it in later, yeah, right? No. Okay. And with that, we're going to cut this one, and we'll see you next week. We're Bye. Out. And before you go, visit us on our social medias at linktree backslash the hills on wheels, L-I-N-K-T-R dot E-E backslash the hills on wheels, no spaces.